Hello everyone, it's T Digital Warfare here with um, my first YouTube video. It's going to be, just like it says in the title, a Photoshop CS5 tutorial for 3D text and a quite a nice looking background, which sh should end up like this. You can mess around with the Gaussian blur on the uh, renders, uh, but that's just how I did it. So first of all, you just want to make a new... Um, image by clicking that um, and then you're going to want to start off with the text so for the text you just um, go on this icon here click and then because 72 isn't very big you might want to get rid of that and input your own um, size so the font I'm going to be using is called Futura STD. I'll put all the um, links hopefully in the description. So I'm just going to type my name there and then drag it down into the center. Then what I'm going to do is just delete this one here that I had from earlier. So you have your text now you might want to put either make it 3D now or put the uh, renders in first whichever way you want to do it but what I did is I went to 3D then you go to that I'm not sure how to pronounce it so I won't if that's greyed out it means you haven't got a good enough um, capture card and just click yes here just let it load Yeah, it, it might take a while, depends on what computer I, uh, you've got, I guess. Okay, so they start appearing, and basically the default one is this one. I'd say just stick with that. These ones make it look very strange. But you might want to mess around with that if you want. But it might take a while to load the different 3D presets. So just hit OK and it gives it a nice 3D feel and then what you want to do is from that you might want to get the abstract um, renders I'll put a link to this, it's Planet Renders you might want to um, make an account with them first though to get the thing so you just right click save image as and then just save it into wherever you want. I already got it, so I'm going to hit cancel. And then go back onto Photoshop. Hit open. Um, go down to where it is. Open that. Now, because it's already render, there's no white background, so you just want to take it onto this and drag it on. Now, you want it to be behind the text, so just drag that layer down beneath there. And then what you want to do is press Control T and then spin it around however you like. Make it bigger to whatever you like. Um, yeah. And then if you, if you want more, which uh, you might want to, you just hit duplicate layer, right click on whichever layer this is, duplicate, uh, okay, and then it should be, just drag it from there, hit control T again, Ooh, sorry, drag it around like that, however you want it, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you want so I'm going to be making it bigger um, I'm gonna go ahead with that, oh, once you're done with these you just click on that up there and apply the transformation and click apply so I'm gonna go down reset, resize and this one, so hit control T again 
I'm going to make it bigger. Angle it a little differently. Make it bigger again. There you go. That that looks nice, I think. And then just keep on duplicating these layers. Keep on duplicating them to get more and more of these little uh, renders. Draw T again to resize it and switch it around. So now it looks like they're all grouping up into the center and spreading out. Is it a nice effect? Um, hit duplicate again and then drag it back. Control T. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, drag it around like that. Make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you want. So then it gives it a nice abstract uh, behind for the uh, thing. <coughs> and then hit apply the transformation. Now, just what I did is I just go into Google and search Starry Sky. Um, images uh, this one I used but you can browse through them looking for ones that you want just right click save image as just like we did with the uh, renders um, there we go starry sky save it into whichever folder you want oh yeah I already got it but I saved it again because I'm an idiot and then you go onto file open then look through whichever folder you saved it saved it in down to starry sky watch it whatever you saved it as then you drag it down again just like the renders drag it onto the picture hit control T and drag it to one of the corners. Oh, sorry. Um, drag it to one of the corners like that. Then stretch it out. Make it bigger. Make it fit your canvas. Then, if it's above these, you just want to um, hit apply the transformation again. Then drag it back down underneath the the renders like that. Now if you want the background blurred out just hit filter blur Gaussian blur uh, there we go. Now if you want some of these blurred out you just do the same just clicking on the different uh, patterns. Now if you want a little bit down here like I had in mine you can put more renders if you like just that's how many I did in this tutorial then you know just do the text and the 3D like I did earlier so yeah um, it should turn out something like this or like this depending on how how you did it but it could look very differently depending on which renders you have you don't have to use these renders, just those are the ones that I um, was using for mine. So there we go, you have a nice 3D text and background to go with it. Uh, so rate, comment and subscribe. Um,